Well, Input Output is a global company and we really do enjoy uh, building infrastructure and finding people in many different places. Like for example, we have personnel in Buenos Aires, we have personnel in Tokyo and Osaka. Uh, as a Hong Kong based company though, we actually haven't done a great job of getting into China. So we're extremely excited to be here at the Shanghai Winter School to build some great partnerships and relationships both academically as well as industry uh, wide uh, so that we can continue our mission to uh, embrace cascading disruption. We're here in Shanghai now, we have the Winter School on Cryptocurrency and Blockchain Technologies. So the purpose of these schools is to bring uh, students, graduate students, as well as young professionals, in this case in the area of uh, blockchain technology, and uh, have them attend a series of lectures by people that are doing cutting-edge research. The Blockchain Winter School is an annual event, uh, or semi-annual event. They, they usually have uh, one in the summer and one in the winter. Uh, we attended the summer school over in Corfu, Greece, and uh, the winter school is here in Shanghai. But basically the idea is to bring uh, students, people from industry, and professional researchers together uh, for the purpose of understanding what is Bitcoin and what is blockchain technology. I'm uh, happily visiting the Shanghai event to present uh, two works uh, during uh, lunch time sessions. Uh, so the first work uh, we already have presented uh, just one week ago in uh, New York during Real World Crypto event is uh, a joint work with uh, Leonid Raisin of Boston University and uh, our another guy, uh, Dmitry Meshkov, uh, named uh, Improving Authenticated dynamic dictionaries with applications to cryptocurrencies. Japan, China, and I think also Korea, they are pretty much uh, very well, uh, how can I say, connected uh, societies. So the countries, a lot of people have like mobile phones and they use it intensively. Anybody who, who takes a train in Japan, for example, you can see that everybody is with their mobiles and using intensively. So if you put this, this part of the equation, uh, together with the, the, the cryptocurrency trend, so you see that's a perfect fit. Up to now, all proof-of-stake based cryptocurrencies and blockchain solutions have been constructed in a heuristic way without proper security analysis, definitions and proofs. So you basically don't have a proper guarantee that your proof-of-stake based system is going to actually be secure in the real world as opposed to proof-of-work based schemes that have been analyzed and proven and secure. So it's a good way of, of getting a, an entry point into the space and getting a deeper understanding of where the state of the art is and where is the pedagogy for the space.